of Piney Prepper Bill. Today is September 8th, 2021. I'm not sure how long this video is going to be. I haven't made a video in a while. been really busy. And I guess like these other YouTube videos or YouTube channels, they post every day, which is probably a good thing. I don't do it as much because I don't want to repeat everything and be redundant from what everybody else is saying. So I really don't watch many prepper channels anymore, just every now and then, because I don't want to copy and repeat and copy and repeat. But if I don't do something, if I don't post a video in a couple days, there are just so many new things coming out. And then when I go to do a video, I'm overwhelmed. I'll research it, you know, download the links and copy stuff and take pictures and screenshots and and then it'll be too hot or rainy or I'll be busy and you know I got a lot of stuff to do around the house so when I go to do go to do that make the video something else is more important or something else comes up but with all this stuff it's I don't it's getting real windy now I don't know I don't have my other microphone so this might be loud um, I had a, a camper a couple years ago that slid in the back of the truck I didn't use it anymore we sold it and it was almost brand new well a couple years old I bought used but my wife's been wanting to go camping and you know I sold the camper like three or four years ago uh, I have we have a bunch of tents but to get away it's hard you know there's too much stuff to do around the house you know my stepdaughter works different shifts you know my son-in-law works a different shift so we gotta you know take her to work and pick her up and we got the animals to take care of in the house so there's there's always somebody home but everybody comes in at different times well my stepson or son-in-law was had two days off and my stepdaughter changed shifts and she had two days off and we were like let's go camping and we figured we'd take the tents we'd go not that far in case you know we had to come home for some reason emergency or whatever so we went to Atson family campground and i usually go in the fall or in the winter when there's nobody around we went camping and this new technology all this digital and satellite and we can't figure out the weather at all hourly we, we don't know what the weather is wasn't supposed to rain at all until Wednesday. So we were going to leave Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and come home Wednesday. No rain in the forecast. After we reserved the site, we realized when we got there Sunday, it was a holiday weekend. That didn't go real good. We set up camp. We were there like two hours. We made something to eat. People came in, you couldn't see them. It was on the campsite on the other side of the woods from us. You're allowed to have four to six people per campsite. They had, it was like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, 50 people per campsite. They must have had 20 tents, 15 cars on each campsite. Music going. But we ate, and within two hours of us getting there, it started to drizzle. The one, luckily I took two tents. I had it like a big cabin type tent or whatever you want to call it. That thing leaked like crazy. We got here Sunday, like 1230. And I would say from two o'clock yesterday afternoon until about eight o'clock this morning, it rained. Constant, constant rain. Brought two tents. This one I had for a while. American Camper. It's going in the trash today. We threw a tarp over it. And luckily, luckily I brought another tent. But this, hold on. This is American Camper. Flooded. Flooded. Water everywhere. So when it started to rain, we threw a tarp over it, and it covered most of the tent, but just the sides, I guess, was enough. So this is going to go in the trash. I brought this other one. 
Never used it. Still new in a box. Uh, I think I got this at Walmart years ago. Embark. Not too bad. Got a little damp in two of the corners. But it was like 12 or 14 hours of continuous rain. Everything is soaked. And uh, we were here the other day. And when we first got here, we used the bathroom. The shower was nice and clean. Uh, some people just shouldn't go camping. Some people just... Uh, I'll leave that to another clip. We had a little tent that worked fair. But we had, no lie, 16 hours of straight rain. Everything got soaked. I threw the one tent out. So much stuff went wrong. But these people that camped over from us, car alarms going off, and then like 8 o'clock at night, they're having like honking horns from different sites. Beep, 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 beep. Rain stopped. It slowed down, I guess, around midnight, 1 o'clock in the morning. Flashlights everywhere. They're playing phone tag. Or uh, not phone tag, flashlight tag. And then, when we after setting up, it was so hot, humid, sweaty. I took a shower. The bathrooms were nice and clean. The showers, the bathroom. Go up there to take a bathroom, or go up to the bathroom. Somebody had taken the big rolls of toilet paper, pulled them off the reel, and put them in the toilet. Four toilets are overflowing. Can't go to the bathroom. So in the morning, uh, it started up again. It was like Cinco de Mayo going over over there. Everything was soaking wet. We pulled stuff out, and then it started to drizzle again. We said, screw it, packed up, came home. We weren't there 24 hours. So that was that. Never again camp on a holiday weekend, and never again in the summertime. That being said, uh, you know, we talked to people about these food shortages and the crisis and people not going to work and, you know, you guys have been saying this for 20 years, ain't nothing happened. Well, I always said, once it happens at Walmart, people will start to realize what's going on. I'm not on Facebook, my, my wife went on there for something, and she's like, look at this. The Walmart and the Acme, not far from us, pretty much the closest ones in uh, Tuckerton. Empty shelves, no meat, no produce. People bitching and complaining what's going on. and It's happening everywhere now. And people are starting to see it because now it's happening at Walmart. Um, stuff coming up. The, the military was training. It was, well, it was about a month ago now. In August, the military was training in New York City for terrorism, bioterrorism, nuclear, whatever just happened to be one month away from the September 11th anniversary. A little strange, don't you think? And <laughs> just, there's just so much to report. And I was, oh, I don't even know where to begin with these, the vaccines, supposedly approved by the FDA or whatever, Come to find out it wasn't the vaccine that everybody's getting. It was the approved one that isn't isn't available yet. I've watched a couple of videos saying, you know, it, it's you have a choice to take it whether or not you want it. And even if you it's up to you to make a bad choice if you don't want to take it. Well, I could be the other way around. I decided I'm gonna cut some of that stuff out because I don't want to talk about that, because it'll probably take my channel down. Um, they've been doing testing in the New York subways without people knowing. They took scientists and they were taking light bulbs with this stuff in it. They sprayed, for years they've been spraying stuff over civilians. So, I'm not going to talk about a lot of things. I might put some things here in a corner. Um, I'm trying not to say certain things. I don't want to even put certain stuff in my title or headline because of algorithm and stuff like that. But there's just so much stuff going on right now with the 
Afghanis coming here. We've left people behind. It's... We supposedly destroyed all the military planes and vehicles we left over there. I didn't watch another video and the guys were saying that that's bullshit. They, they were parts vehicles. And what makes you think they can't get parts for them? I'm sure none of those parts are made in America anyway. Food shortages are ramping up. The truck driver shortage. Everything is going to hell. Um, I would... If you can... You know, prepare more, stock up on more food if you can, get some canned goods, some, whatever you can to get through whatever's happening. They're talking about these solar flares, uh, I forget what they're called, uh, initials, not EMP, but, you know, these solar flares could disrupt the internet and power. Don't know. Don't know much. Uh, coronal mass ejection or something. I don't know much about it. So I'm not going to say it's going to happen and the internet's going to go down and uh, just so much stuff. And I went on the computer and looked stuff up, wrote stuff down to talk about when I came out here. And everywhere I go, I set up and people come and canoers coming out and like 20, 30, and then buses going by with trailers. And yeah, had a shitty camping trip. And then had to take everything out of the truck, let it dry, and then the dew came and it was all wet again. Was rolling stuff up yesterday, out in the yard, and then I came in, I was itching like crazy. I got chigger bites everywhere. You know, I see these big pus red things, oh my god, itch like crazy. Um, there was just so many things I wanted to talk about and it just slips my freaking mind. Uh, the testing that they were doing from the for years uh, with on on civilians you know, for San Francisco, Chicago, New York. Uh, I'll put some links to stuff on the bottom. The thing about the vaccines not being FDA approved. I don't know what a big deal some of this stuff is, or it could be. But the shortages and like I said before, like during this whole lockdown and this whole last year. Couldn't get certain things at certain stores, like the toilet paper and stuff like that. And other people are like, I don't know what you're talking about. We go to Walmart and they're stocked. Well, don't have meat, can't get produce. Walmart's got it. Well, I said, once Walmart starts to have bare shelves, then people are going to start panicking. And it was, I think, a shop right in Tom's River. Somebody was robbed. And my wife was talking about another one not far from us. I don't know if that was a Walmart or a shop, right? Somebody was robbed in the parking lot. Nice neighborhood. It's happening all over. People aren't going to be able to get what they want. People don't have money. Uh, this whole, you know, people are going to get evicted now. They don't have jobs. Where are they going to go? So they're going to start robbing people. And if there is a major food shortage, it's things are just going to get bad so freaking fast. Um, this video is going on longer than I wanted it to. There was more things I wanted to talk about that I freaking forgot. I wrote stuff down and I left it at home. Um, just keep your eyes open, be prepared, be alert, and let me know what you think about, have you noticed the Walmarts now being short on food? Not just, I'm not talking about just meat and produce. They were talking about, like, canned goods and all that. All food is disappearing. So this is Pony Prepper Bill. Uh, this video is going on longer than I wanted. There was some more things I wanted to talk about. And I forgot the piece of paper, so well, I lose my train of thought. I can't remember anything. If I don't write it down, and I gotta remember to bring the piece of paper with me. But let me know what you think on September 11th. If you think anything's gonna happen on the anniversary. If you've noticed any food shortages at Walmart, and not just meat, but you know, canned goods and stuff like that. And. 
That's what I got for this video, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.